long have I been filming for? Hello? Hello? Can I see my screen? Oh. <laughs> Hello, friends, and welcome to another episode of Tumblr Deep Dive. This one is uh, near and dear to my heart, and you will see why. It's phenomenal. But before we jump into it, uh, I feel like I haven't mentioned that I have a Patreon in quite some time, but I recently added a new $10 perk, so if you want to design my YouTube header image, for the low, low price of $10 a month, your masterpiece can be broadcast to my entire channel. It's a time. I'm, I'm enjoying this Patreon perk very much. In my last video, we had a, little, a very brief tangent into the, I believe it was dirt core tag, which there, I think farm core is one of the big ones, grandma core. It's, these tags, in my understanding, basically exist to celebrate an aesthetic. What, you may be asking, is a goblin aesthetic? Well, I will show you, my friends. This person says, my aesthetic is goblin core and 80s fashion, which is just so ideal. I mean, what a guy. It's a shame snails are so small I can't give them hugs. Remember the three Gs, gay, goth, goblin. Can't sleep, I'm thinking about slugs. <laughs> goblin PSA, occasionally you will want to hiss at the sun. That's normal. Capitalism goes against goblin beliefs. Goblins stand for mischief and trickery, not evil. <laughs> is it necessary for this to be a list? The use of the cursive font and the bold and the green text and general bad grammar is, it's all part of the aesthetic. I'm just, I'm taking it in. Freedom of religion is a goblin must. My religion is shouting at the moon because it's real pretty but too big for me to carry around. Things that are goblin core. Nail polish collections. Clink clink. Shiny and colorful. Large comfy baggy clothing. Chunky costume jewelry and big ol' wads so you can dig in and grab them with your little covetous hands. Junk food. Anything microwavable. <laughs> These are just... I'm starting to think goblins are just art students. And it goes on. Are we human or are we goblin? I don't know anymore. Oh, this is my ideal type of goblin. I want a black cat with creepy eyes in my life so badly. Like, I will take any cat. I love all cats. I love dogs too. Love them all. But a black cat with creepy eyes would truly steal my heart. That's all I'm saying. Gummy worms and dirt cake are goblin slash crow culture. Oh my god, I remember those. <laughs> Only 90s goblins remember. <laughs> the core goblin values are trickery and bastardry. And don't you forget that. Treasure enthusiast. Just a quick thing, an issue that arose with my last Tumblr deep dive, and honestly, the one thing that has made me consider stopping this series is even when I do positive videos, some of the blogs that appear in my videos, even if I don't go to those blogs, will get unwanted spam messages or hate. Please don't do that. <laughs> this was an issue with the Vulture Culture video. Some of the top blogs that come up when you search Vulture Culture were getting a lot of messages and a lot of unwanted spam and disrespectful messages. So we'd like to avoid that. Please be a decent human to the goblins. <laughs> Anonymous asked how to be career goblin instead of having career to support goblin hobby. And the answer is, you don't need to study to be a full-time goblin, no degree necessary. Look at me, never been to college and I cannot read, <laughs> smiley face. <laughs> I have boxes of cool rocks in my closet, what should I do to maximize my goblin energy? Put them on a shelf so you can look at them every day. I learned that from Mary Kondo. <laughs> Crunch rocks? Crunch. I have a little bucket for rocks, but they're still all over the place I reach into random pocket. Wow, pebble, also coins. I find them everywhere, all times, except the coin holder. The struggle, but it does, but doesn't it feel great to find treasures everywhere? I feel like there is truly a primal goblin part of all of our brains. I too love my shiny clutter. This is my goblin slash crow core side blog, LOL. Crow core. Hey, listen, I'm a little bastard man who does nothing but make questionable decisions, eat sweets, and scream, so jot that down. You're safe here, in, in glitter font, in a little cave, and it says, Welcome home to the goblin cave. Oh, hell yes. I'm sneaky, I'm clever, I'm shifty, I'm goblin, and, and I'm coming. Please don't. He stabs you. Goblin core mood board. Wow. Mushrooms are adorable. 
When someone asks what you're doing, the best answer is always because I'm infested with demons. I should have used that one while I was in Catholic high school. Normal bird. Hashtag dumpster diving, hashtag free food, hashtag goblin court. Okay. Mud? No, 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 no. Dirt jam. People are posting lots of pictures of shiny things and little trinkets. There's like rings and there's stones. <laughs> no gods, no kings, only me and my screams. <laughs> me when my rings don't fit my little hands. Okay, that I can relate to. I have creepy tiny skinny witch fingers and no rings fit me. It's very tragic. Doll head succulent planters? Oh yes, I've seen these. I should get some. That's very creepy. Hi guys, I've been discovering this new trend called goblin core lately and I just wanted to tell y'all that real old school gangsters like me have known what real goblin core is since the 2000s. Mr. Crow says drink some water, also fuck society. We live in a society, don't we, Mr. Crow? Live in that abandoned haunted well if you want to. No one's stopping you except the police, and if you release enough trained rats into the streets, not even them. All right, so I, I feel like I've already gained a deeper understanding of what it is to truly be a goblin, to live outside of society, to rebel against capitalism, and to worship shiny things. How to acquire a large collection of shinies. Pay very close attention to the ground wherever you walk in order to spot the best shinies. Take a lot of walks wherever you can and stay safe. There's the live in the forest and collect shiny things. Haha, <laughs> I have tiny hands. But then you dive deeper into the goblin philosophy. And it, it, there is a genuine critique of society in there somewhere, I think. Frogs and tiny hats? Oh, I am absolutely here for frogs and tiny hats. See, I feel like these ones could overlap a little bit with the farm core, grandma core aesthetic kind of thing. Bro, where are you from? In there. This is Sphinx Cat. Oh, he's so cute. Dentists are the natural predators of goblin. Justification takes your teeth. Anyone who removes teeth from my possession deserves to be hunted for sport. Counterpoint, if your dentist removes your teeth and gives them to you, they are an ally. Interesting. How how do I be a goblin ally if I'm not a dentist? Just, like, drop shiny things on the street for the goblins to pick up? Because I feel like I can manage that. I am giving one of my shinies a jar of sea glass as a late Valentine's gift, and I'm suddenly worried because I am a small gremlin man and I don't know if my boyfriend will know that even though it's just some green jar, it means a lot to me and he means so much to me. Ah. Attach a note saying how important it slash he is to you. Cute. I noticed a handful of turfs are following me and I just wanted to be very clear. I respect you as people, I am very pro-LGBT, but anyone who is trans-exclusionary is not a part of my kingdom. Please unfollow me. The King of Goblins supports trans men, trans women, and non-binary people. Well, you heard it here first. The goblins have spoken. I feel like I have a very goblin-y jar, but I'm kind of- I'm using it as a bookend, so I'm kind of scared to get it down. Oh, it's very dusty. It's been up there a while. Am I welcome into the Goblin Core community? <laughs> I haven't- I have a piece of coral. I have some Jones Soda tops. A few of them. Ooh, five Swiss francs. Goblin hoarding and shiny things. I feel like it is very easy to relate to this on some level of like aesthetically pleasing little things. Are straight slash questioning goblins valid too? Are you valid if you're straight? That's how you know it's Tumblr. The only goblins who aren't valid are those who hurt other goblins. Nazis, pedos, transphobes, slash homophobes. Hell yes! Okay, we're looking at just photos now. Goblin core bloggers on Tumblr. Dirt. Is this a great post? That's actually really cute somehow. I love him. Lots of shiny things in jars. Lots of goblin... Not really fan art, but characters? Is it like fursonas, but like your goblin identity? I don't know. Um, yes, that is absolutely an invite to draw me as a goblin if you so choose. Uh, that would be fabulous. <laughs> Minimalism is dead. Adopt the goblin way of life. Fill your house with pebbles and shinies. People divide themselves into so many questionable subcultures on this internet of ours. Cause you know, we have that need to latch on to something and to identify with some group why not the goblins? They're so weird and harmless. Why be a turf 
or an incel, or one of those Tumblr crush kids when we can all just be goblins together in the forest. And now a message from the future about this week's sponsor. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with over 250,000 courses in business design and more. Whether it's for fun because you just love learning new things or it's to help you meet your career goals, Skillshare is a really great place to help you learn new things and stay creative. Skillshare is trusted by over 7 million users worldwide and just look at all these cool courses you can take. If you're looking to build up your social media or even to start a YouTube channel, Skillshare would be a really great place to learn skills like photo and video editing. You can pick courses that are just right for you from the huge selection and even join groups to help connect with like minded people. The first 500 people to click the link in the description below will get two months free of Skillshare, and after that a premium membership starts at only $10 a month, which is pretty dang good. Well, what do you know, that's about it for this Tumblr deep dive. It has been a lovely time looking into Goblin Core today with you all, my friends. Come hang out on our Discord server for the low, low price of $2 a month, or design my header image for $10 a month, and I will see you in another video very soon, my friends.